Today on Dingleberries and Klingons, we have two special Karens who think that routine traffic stops should be anything other than routine. Let's go! Today's show is brought to you by channel members and patrons alike. To support the show, click that join button or head over to www.patreon.com slash theplothole1. That's the number one, not the loneliest number you can ever do. Rack Focus. Hey everybody, Johnny O from The Plot Hole, and today we're going to take a look at two Karens who think they don't have to play by the rules. Shocking, I know. This first Karen seems to be Regan from The Exorcist all grown up. Let's check it out. Excited you for speeding. Here's what I'm going to do for you. This is your third offense in this year. Because of that... Can I help you? Yeah, that's my wife. Okay. Um, I think it's, uh, I might have an insurance card for her. Okay. She's saying something about an insurance card. Yeah, if you've got one, that would make it life easier for her. She called me and I was like, oh crap. I I, I think I might either have one in my wall okay. or in the glove. Okay. Just give me about a couple minutes to look around Great. for it. Great. That's awesome. So what I was saying is this is your third offense in the year. Now, I already have to point out the glaring issue. Had that dude been anything other than Caucasian, do you think we'd have been able to approach that police officer? I'll take things that only white people get away with for 200, Alex. Calm down, people. It's a joke. Learn to laugh. I can enhance this ticket to a fourth degree misdemeanor because of that. I'm not going I don't to know do what that. Means. What that means is I can give you 30 days in jail and a $250 fine ticket, or I can give you a regular speeding ticket. I'm going to give you the regular speeding ticket and not give you the one that has the possible jail penalty involved. So I'm giving you the regular speeding ticket. Because you had two priors, you will have to appear in court for this one. The court date is the 5th of November, 12 noon. I haven't had a speeding ticket in 25 years. That doesn't make any difference at all. It does. You've had two this year. Now, this officer is doing a good job of keeping calm and treating this Karen with a lot of respect. Let's see how well that works out for him. Kryptonite to Karens. A speed and a stop sign, both in March. On this road. This road. That tells me that you have a problem with speeding on this road. No, it tells me that... I'm not going to argue that. Okay. You must appear in court for this one. All of the court information is in this brochure right there. Can you repeat everything you just said to me? No, I'm going to repeat it to you. You're the one who's getting the ticket. Well, I'm the one whose life has been destroyed by police officers, and I can't handle this. Okay. I, All you need to do is I sign the ticket, and I'm you'll be done. I'm not signing anything. You're not signing anything. To my husband. Of course, it's the road's fault, not lead foot Karen's. Just sign the damn ticket so you can get over to your HOA meeting. If you don't sign the ticket, I'm going to arrest gonna you right violent. now. You're not going to arrest me. We're not signing the ticket. I'm going to arrest you for not signing the ticket. I'm asking you kindly to repeat everything to him. I will happily repeat everything to him as soon as you sign the ticket. I'm, I cannot okay. sign that ticket. Step out of the car. Under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I love it when Karens tell cops that they're not going to be arrested today. Hey, you remember when I said I found Regan from The Exorcist? Well, headphones warning. Six zero. I can't do this. Step out of the car. I can't do this. You're under arrest. Step out of the car. You're under arrest. I can't do this! 
Get back. Get back. Everything I'm out of here! Help! 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 Stop resisting, or you can get so much more. Oh no, he threatened me with you! He threatened me with you! Well, that was something. Karen should have just signed the ticket. And don't worry, Karen, we got the video. Lordy. I almost left this one out of today's episode because, well, one, it's old, and two, this lady seems like she's got a few issues. Maybe volumes. Is she still wailing? <laughs> yep. You know, it seems like she has something that she needs to get off of her chest. Arrested again. Poor, poor Karen. I'm not going to make too much fun of this one for obvious reasons. I mean, again, I think Karen's got some sort of PTSD with, I don't know, some hedge trimmers or HOA meetings or some other manager interactions. Some sort of Karen shit. However, this is one of those, you kind of brought this shit on yourself there, Karen. All you had to do was sign the ticket. Simple as that. Then you could have been on your way. For all of you contemplating not signing a ticket because you think it's an admission of guilt, it's not. It just means that you were there and you were served the ticket. Now, with body cams nowadays, they don't even really need your signature. So this was kind of an overreach on the police officer's part. He was just trying to make a point. Whatever. Moving on. Recent analytics suggest that adding in your call to action, you know, for a like, share, and subscribe at the middle of your video seems to be far more successful than putting it at the end of your video. So here's mine. If you're enjoying the show, hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends. Maybe they'll enjoy it too. And if it's your first time here, do consider hitting that subscribe button and button. I don't know what the button is, but the, the subscribe button, Lord have mercy and tickle that notification that way. Tickle that notification. It is just not my day today. Tickle that bell for notifications. That way, every time I mumble through another one of these here, whatever we're going to call this, you get notified. Jeez, I'm leaving all this in there just like that. <sighs> this is what happens when you deal with Karens on a daily basis. We also have many ways to support the channel. So if you want, you become a channel member. You can join our Patreon. I've got PayPal. I've got an Amazon wish list. All kinds of stuff. Merchandise. You want a shirt? Get a shirt. I got Teespring and all that fun stuff. If you can, I 100% appreciate it. If you can't, again, simply liking, sharing, and subscribing, commenting on a few comments and videos and whatnot really helps the channel grow, and I thoroughly appreciate everybody's support, whatever that may be. So thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys, whether you can or can't monetarily support. It's a free channel. You're more than welcome to hang around. I enjoy you. I hope you enjoy me. That being said, let's get on with the Karens. All the way up the street. No, it was not. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull you over. I have it on my camera. I have everything. And I mean, and don't tell me you're on on directions. This Karen is a real winner. People look. When you get startled doing some illegal shit by a cop who caught you doing the illegal shit, don't start the conversation off with "No, I wasn't." It's not gonna go good for you, Karen. You were caught. No, I'm not. I'm directly in my damn neighborhood. Do you really have nothing else better to do with the officer? You're going to you're gonna get pulled you're over. Gonna you're going to pull over car into car the BP car. lot. Pull up next to the uh, behind that. Yes, ma'am. Nothing else to do in your damn day, do you? Seeing as how this is a traffic cop and you were committing a traffic or moving violation and it's his job to catch people who commit said moving violations. No, there's nothing else better that he could be doing with his time right now. I need, I 
Duty. I need your license, your registration, and insurance. Can you please put your feet in and close the door? Because it's for my safety and your safety. Well, you see my hands at all times. Is this against the law right there? Am I not allowed I need to have your license, Is registration, and insurance, man? I don't think you would comply even if it was the law. You don't seem to be the comply type. You're willing to text with your daughter in the back seat. Dude, I'm not texting. You I'm were sitting. typing and you look, there's a picture there and you're typing under with a green text bubble. I'm not comments texting. Comments on a, comments on a picture. This is a little thing. Just okay. to let you, you know, know what? You're, you may be an Go old ahead, man. Jimmy. So I use this little thing. Okay, I don't need your insurance. I'll pull it, I'll pull it up, ma'am. You it. are going to be issued a cite and citation today. And I talk in today. my phone like this. That's not Oh, eat a giant bag of sausages, Karen. We all saw you texting while driving, not talking to your phone. I know you think that this cop is an old man and couldn't possibly understand how the technology works these days. Whippersnappers in there, snapping and tweeting and such. Back in my day, we had to chisel it on the wall in stone. But he sure did seem to understand the difference in color of text bubbles now, didn't he? That's why we don't have a full wagon out here. My child here. had an accident. I've asked you to stay in your seat, ma'am. Oh, I have a child to attend to. I've asked you to stay in your seat. Can you please close? Is this, excuse me, is this part of the law, a part of getting pulled over? I'll is tell it, you what. Is it? I'm just asking. Because you're being pretty forceful about it, and I would like to know the truth. Is that a law? There's, there's your driver's Can you license, that man. For me, Officer what's Connor? your thing? What's the sense of entitlement flows strong with this Karen. Karen, look, all you had to do when this cop knocked on your window was say, Hey, oops, my bad, you caught me. I won't do it again. He wasn't going to stop you. He was just going to give you a stern lecture about texting and driving and how dangerous that is. Yes, people die from this on a daily basis. It is one of the easiest things we can do as a society to make sure that we don't wreck our vehicles, is to put the phones down and drive the car. But no, Karen's gonna Karen. You're being cited for his texting while driving today, my ma'am. I'm gonna give you a copy of the law today. You're not You're gonna, gonna, gonna answer understand. my question about the law. Well, what is your question again? <laughs> Well, they have my door open? It depends on my my feeling of a safety, and you've been very aggressive for absolutely no well, reason. Come on, bro. You, you have a me over small. For I'm not your text. bro. Okay? Well, I don't care. I'm gonna call you what I want. Your small child is dependent on you, oh, and their yeah, life is in danger. Their their life is in danger because of what you're doing. Listen to this smug little Karen, and that's right. She has her young child with her. She's knowingly endangering her own child because she needs to let Karen Kardashian know that the new lipstick color she's wearing is aces. Officer Connor has to get some sort of medal or award or recognition or citation or something for how calm, cool, and collected he's being with this bitch. You're endangering all our lives well, today, and that's why you're, you're being cited. Well, you're making an assumption that I was texting when I'm using voice. Well, ma'am, you, you can do. go to court on the oh, you 19, to again. Yes, 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah, and I would love to there? play this for the judge. This would be absolutely outstanding. This would be entertaining for the judge. Oh, okay. You can go on the 19th at 9 o'clock in the morning, this address, courtroom 1B, to plead not guilty in front of a judge. Sure. Your second option, you can actually pay for it in person downtown. <coughs> Making us all unsafe on the road. I'll tell you what. You know what? Are you going to stop the traffic? I'm going to go ahead and give you a copy of the law today. I don't even need you to sign this. I'll go ahead and say no, 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 don't do that on my car, please. Excuse me. That's my property. Do not do this on my property. Unwilling. Do you have any questions for me today, ma'am? This is a perfect example of what not to do. I guarantee that Officer Connor showed up in court and was ecstatic to get to play this body cam footage for the judge. I would have loved to seen that smug look slapped off that bitch's face as the judge laid the law down on that. Oh, plenty of questions. There you go. Are you gonna stop the traffic so I can take okay, a left out of here? Not a chance. Why? Do you have you, any other you questions, ruined ma'am? This and, and you know have my, a great day, ma'am. You know my daughter just had an accident. Well, at least she's uh, alive today because oh, because of me. I'm a douchebag. Your Honor, I'm a douchebag. 
Not a chance. It's the best part of this whole video. No, Karen, Officer Connor is not going to give you any kind of special services or special treatment. Now, I know your fragile little ego can't handle that. You probably never heard that word before, at least not used to you. You're probably the one giving the nose, not receiving the nose. But there it is. Learn to live with it. All right, that's enough of that shit for today. I've had fun with this one. Please leave me a comment down in the comment section letting me know what you think of today's Karens. I know that these are older, but I found them and I thought they were fun and I wanted to share a laugh with you guys. So, you know, cut me some slack. I get it. I, you, you know, I don't, I have to work a real job dealing with real Karens that I'm not allowed to film because it would be great to have first-hand film. Maybe I need to figure out a way to do it. I can go all Nathan Thompson style and put on some spy glasses. That's what I could do. Anyway, I'm Johnny O from The Plot Hole. I had fun today. Be sure to tune in tonight, rockmetaltalk.com for The Plot Hole podcast. I'll be on 8 p.m. Central. J.L. Warren will probably be there. We'll see what happens. But it's going to be a right good time regardless. Do look forward to having the faux hammer J.L. Warren debate on, we're going to hear it here, gun control. That's not going to happen this Sunday. Uh, faux hammer had some things he had to do and whatever. That's good. You know, I understand. Yeah, whatever it's youtube it's fine do what you gotta do anyway we're looking at next next sunday not this sunday coming but the sunday after where's that movie reference from there jl mm, mm, mm. anyway i'm johnny o and as always don't forget finger guns baby <laughs>